Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Double RPG here, and welcome back to Double RPG Livestream, where we are going to go back to Mega Man X Legacy Collection on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to be taking a look at Mega Man X4. And for the first, uh, we're going to be playing through this game twice, but we're going to play it once for tonight, and then we will play the game again tomorrow. But we will be covering X's story tonight, and then we'll cover Zero's tomorrow. So we're, you're going to see me play through this game twice, like I said. One tonight and one tomorrow, where tonight is X and the other is zero. So, anyway, let's not waste any time and uh, let's get right into it. And let's go ahead and uh, change some stuff here. And I've decided to actually uh, change some things. Like, I'm actually playing the... the On the Nintendo Switch, I'm actually playing through this instead of the Pro Controller because there is a bit of a bit of trouble I'm having with the D-pad on the Pro Controller this time around. So, I'm going to have to do some uh, modifications to make sure that the D-pad will actually work well the next time when I'm playing Mega Man X or anything side scroller related. So for the time being, I'm just going to be playing uh, with the Joy-Cons on that little thing that looks that pretty much makes it looks like look like a Fisher Price toy or whatnot. But but yeah, that's what we will experience tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Is it just me, or did the game freeze? There we go. I was wondering what happened there. But anyway, we were given the ability to restart. So, Mega Man X4. The first Mega Man X game to appear on the 32-bit uh, platforms, which were the PlayStation 1 and the Sega Saturn. It did not make it onto the Nintendo 64 because, uh, well, most of the games on the Nintendo 64 were not even 2D, uh, 2B, I mean, 2D pixel, uh, pixel based or anything like that. So, we're actually taking a look at them in just, uh, you know, in this, uh, type of format where it's going to be, uh, on the where it was based on the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn original, and it still retains its uh, stature as a 2D sprite-based game. Now, of course, when it comes to Mega Man X4, this game is very noteworthy or very infamous for its uh, horrible voice acting. But when you take a look at Mega Man X games uh, that are more present. The voice acting, like I would say from Mega Man X8 and Mega Man X Command Mission, as well as Maverick Hunter X, they were actually a lot better than what we experienced out of this game. But in terms of the game itself, when it comes to its overall gameplay, it was still pretty much a winner by my eyes. So anyways, that's it with the intro. I think there was a Japanese song that was playing in the Japanese version. But uh, we just heard a traditional uh, uh, metal rendition or something. But anyway, go ahead and get started with this. And look at this. This is really nice, uh, really nice smoothing that we're actually seeing on the screen here. And I guess they actually made it look like this to uh, accommodate to that of the Nintendo Switch with uh, what we're seeing. Now, as I said, we are going to be playing through X's campaign. And as you would have guessed that... When you're playing a game like this, uh, you can choose to play either X or Zero, Mega Man X or Zero. So uh, they each have their own campaigns, even though they still have the same exact levels that they go through. But the scenarios are changed a little bit. Uh, but like I said, we will be playing through all those games. I mean, through both campaigns, and I may uh, end up showing you how to get the uh, special armor for X, which is the ultimate armor, and another play uh, at the end of this playthrough. And I will show you how to get the uh, uh, Zero's black armor or his black uh, structure, like ro robotic frame structure on him instead of him being all red and stuff. So I will show you how to do that once we get on, uh, you know, maybe at the end of each playthrough that I do for both characters. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get started with Mega Man X. A very suspicious figure. Far too eager to please the human, 
with those lines above his eyes and below his eyes. And he's cloaked himself with a, uh, with a cloak, if anything. Remove yourself from my sight. My business with you has concluded. Very well. Boy, General doesn't even sound intimidating as a uh, war figure. I guess you could say that the cloaked figure sounds intimidating for the most part, but still. Can't really take him seriously with that type of voice. Mavericks have been found at point five five six seven. The Mavericks occupied the Sky Lagoon using the most advanced weapons available. The army appears to be the Repli Force. Roger that. I'm on my way now. So looks like the Repli Force is at Sky Lagoon, and we need to see about them and what they're doing. So yeah, you can see that everything uh, looks a lot more detailed with the uh, animations and stuff, especially when you're playing it on the 32-bit platforms like this. And it looks like, uh, looks like uh, Aregion is going to be giving us some trouble here, if anything. And I'm trying to defeat him so that way he's not giving us that much of an issue, but not really that easy. Okay, now we finally got him, so he's not going to be that much of an issue. I guess he would be if we were at a wall like this, but uh, I digress. But yeah, Mega Man X4, uh, the first Mega Man X game to be, or yeah, the first Mega Man X game to be in 32-bit gr uh, pixelated graphics. So that means for smoother animation, as well as for more detailed uh, and vibrant colors coming from the sprites. And, you know, just a lot of other things in general. So, yeah, uh, for what it is, it actually looks really good for a uh, fifth generation game. You're Dragoon from the 14th unit. This isn't good, X. That Maverick just destroyed the power re reactor. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. It's too late, X. It's time I made my escape. I suggest you do the same. Don't do anything reckless on the way out, okay? The city below will soon become a sea of flames. Many people will perish. I have no choice but to escape from here and head to the city below. So yes, the Sky Lagoon is being destroyed. And we are now below where... We actually see the damage from the Sky Lagoon onto the ground, or onto the Earth. What? The city has been completely destroyed! There were- they were innocent people! I won't forget this! Oh, I'm sure you won't forget it, X, but yeah, that was very, uh... It, that was very inhuman for what the Mavericks, uh, did to all those innocent people. So, yeah. You can definitely see the game's dark nature really starting to take effect for this game. I mean, it did take effect in the other games, but I'm just saying that it actually has a more stronger and uh, more sinister tone to the mix. Com considering what all what is all going on. Okay. See that we are experiencing a lot of crap that's trying to go out and uh, hurt us. But it's nothing that we can't get across. We got ourselves an extra life in the process, but get out of here. Hurry, X. Okay. So, now we're done with that stage, and now we got ourselves a boss of fight. And, of course, that boss is going to be a Regeon. And a Regeon is the dragon mechanoloid who is giving us trouble in the Sky Lagoon. 
Now, Oregion is a pretty simple boss to defeat, and he's really not that difficult. He's kind of like the boss in Mega Man X2, where he wasn't really that, uh, really that sinister to actually try and, uh, you know, give us a hard time. But, yeah, as I said, this one is really not giving us that bad of a, bad of a problem. As he is pretty easy, and we just pretty much defeated that dragon right on the spot. Alright, so that takes care of that problem, and now we have to experience the real deal. Who are you? I'm the Colonel of the Repl Force. Has the Repl has the Repl Force been occupying this area? What are you talking about? I only came to save my sister. The army responsible for all the violence in the region is not the Repl Force. Nevertheless, I want you to disarm and follow me back to the follow me back to the HQ. Never! You're asking my soldiers to drop their weapons? The only time we drop our weapons is when we aren't able to fight any longer. But you'll be regarded as a, a, you'll be regarded a maverick and treated as such. Do as you will. The Repla Force would sooner fight and die than discard our pride. Consider us mavericks if this is what you wish. Wait! Calm down, Colonel! What the... Something's gotta give. Otherwise, the entire Repla Force will be considered to be mavericks. So, yeah, looks like Repla Force was here, and now they uh, don't care if they're regarded as such. Anyway, another FMV. Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploi. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploid, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. I, too, share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride, without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! Yep. So, looks like Repliforce is achieving something that uh, they are wrongfully pursuing. A mysterious figure who looks very similar. But, we will find out in due time who that figure is. Who are you? Call me Double, the Rookie Hunter. My liege, the Repl Force has begun its coup. Wait! Colonel, you're jumping to conclusions here! Sir, you have been gi given the order to scramble. Right, I'm leaving right now. And then we get a rundown of all the uh, stages that we can go into. And of course, we have our first enemy, Web Spider, which is the jungle area. Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. And then next is Cyber Peacock in cyberspace. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it. And then our next one is a Storm Owl at the Air Force Base. The Repliforce Force ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. The next up is Magma Dragoon. Dragoon in the Volcano area. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ. And then next up is Jet Stingray from the Marine base. Ripple Force decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard a land chaser. Okay. And then uh, Split Mushroom is in the Biolab. Uh, the abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. And then we have Slash Beast in the military train. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Repliforce's supply route. And then last but not least, we have Frost Walrus in Snowbase. We've discovered a hidden Snowbase. Halt production of their new weapon. Okay. So we have these uh, eight new areas with eight new Mavericks who we're going up against. And I would say these are Mavericks that were not designed by Keiji Inafune's art books. 
So, uh, but I will explain how I'm not really in favor to the design of the Mavericks of this game as well as the future games as they really lack that, those, uh, those creative details with what made the Mavericks in the first three games very memorable. But let's uh, worry about that at another time as we are going to go into our first stage, which is Web Spider Stage. So I hope you all had a very good uh, day today. I know I did. I got me a brand new phone. One that I needed to upgrade on for quite some time. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. And I can tell you that right now, using the, uh, the Joy-Cons on that little gizmo to where I'm actually, uh, you know, using them as to act as a normal controller, it's actually helping me a lot better this time around. So I'm very content that I'm actually using this now that I'm not, I mean, that I am using the Pro Controller, but I will eventually get the Pro Controller fixed by doing the simple little fix that deals with trying to get the pivot on the D-pad to be rised up a little bit more with a piece of tape so that way and taping some spots on the um, on on the frame in the inside to where the uh, buttons on the D-pad are not pushing uh, other sectors like the up button by accident which is pretty much what's been causing me to uh, you know falter in side scrolling games in that manner so if I get that fixed then hopefully I won't even have to buy another uh, I won't even have to buy another Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, which I don't even want to, and it wouldn't even make any sense. But if I did that little fix, then everything should be all right. Okay, so we're now here at our first Dr. Light capsule, and uh, this is for the leg upgrade, which you actually saw the silhouette of what is going to be upgraded since we first came to this capsule. But anyway, let's see what Dr. Light has to say. Has to say. This battle should, have, should never have happened, X. Why must Reploids fight each other? Why do these peacekeepers persist in fighting each other? This must be some sort of mistake. X, enter this capsule. Equip with this to discover the truth. Equip with equip with this boot module and jump twice in the air to hover. You can move either left or right and will remain airborne for a few moments. It is effective for negotiating uh, through higher and more dangerous terrain. Stop this tragic war as soon as possible, X. And just like Mega Man X 1, 2, and 3, when we get to a Dr. Light capsule, we get a piece of the upgrade that's actually presented to us to, that we can actually, you know, use at our full capacity. So what you just saw there was a glimpse of what the leg uh, upgrade can do from the fourth armor. It can actually hover in uh, small spurts, even if you move for I mean, if you, even if you hover by itself for a few seconds, it will, uh, it will drain, it will completely, um, remove its capacity to hover that long, whereas if you move forward, that the hover is much, much shorter. So, if anything, it's kind of a detriment, I mean, it's kind of a benefit and a curse with the hover mechanic, because it will help you in some sticky situations, but for the most part, it's okay. So yeah, Mega Man X4... Um, this was not the first Mega Man X game I played on the, uh, PlayStation 1, uh, or on the PlayStation 1 console. That was actually Mega Man X 6 was the first one I played. And I would say this would probably be the last one I played out of the, uh, you know, the ones that appeared on the 32-bit consoles. Um, you know, the, the, the PlayStation. Which, uh, you know, this game was the only game that actually was ported to the, uh, uh, was the only game to have a multi-platform release on the 32-bit platform. So, the Sega Saturn only got uh, Mega Man... Jeez, I'm getting the one-ups like crazy right now. So, um, Sega Saturn was only able to get Mega Man X4, whereas the PlayStation got Mega Man X4, and then they exclusively got X5 and X6. Anyway, we didn't get any uh, uh, health restorations. Okay, so let's continue on with the jungle here. We will be going through some of these stages twice to get uh, whatever we missed out on. So we are going to be missing the uh, heart tank in this stage. Yeah, go figure. Oh, and um, I guess I really didn't notice this, but when you're at a certain spot... I mean, when you go to a second area, which is another thing I also should have mentioned uh, when playing this, is that uh, when you go to... I mean, when it comes to the stages, they are all comprised of two areas. And every time when you go to a new area, your health will refill. 
And I think that's something I should have explained a bit better because you didn't, I didn't, uh, because I totally forgot about that. Is that when you go to a new area, like I just said, you will get a, uh, a you know, a health restoration. And if that happens, then that's good. Whoops. Didn't go down the ladder there. Okay. So yeah, web spider stage. It's uh looks pretty good for a jungle type area. And it definitely does look like that we're in a jungle when you just take a look at everything in this uh, vicinity. But I will I will say for the benefit of the doubt it act, it still looks pretty good. Even if it does look kind of uh tragic and uh just Uh, it doesn't look that neat and whatnot. And we get a new type of, uh, of a life energy restoration capsule, as we do have the one that will actually, um, as we do have the ones that can actually restore more than just, uh, what you would normally see from the other games. There are, like, three tiers of of life restoration capsules whereas there are only two tiers of weapon uh, energy capsule restorations that you can actually find in this game just like in the other games uh anyways it's time for us to fight a boss and that boss is web spider and looks like we got something that might be uh uniquely useful for the next game Mega Man x5 but enough of that so we're finally met with, uh, Web Spider. You labeled us all as Mavericks. I won't let you pass. Turn back now. No, thank you, Mr. Arachnid. So yeah, Web Spider's really not that, uh, terrible of a boss, as he uh, has a pretty predictable pattern. But, but... But, uh, that... That web that, you know, sticks onto you, it's, uh... Ugh. Can be a bit of a pain. I think this is one of the instances where I probably would prefer more of the uh, PlayStation 4 controller, if anything, because just that movement of the original PlayStation 1 controller it actually felt more natural. But, uh, oh well. Oh, get off! Get, get off! You say that, X, but, uh, you're, uh, in a pretty dire situation, man. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to defeat him like that. I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, I haven't, pl I mean, I haven't played this game for quite some time, and it's just, I really don't remember everything off the top of my head with how the battles are supposed to go, so I may end up dying a lot. Uh, when it comes to the more recent games in the franchise, especially with Mega Man X7 in that regard. But, uh... But it really shouldn't be that uh, problematic with the other games moving forward. I think I pretty much figured out this boss's pattern, so I just need to, uh, you know, get the timing right to where... Ugh... Make sure I hit him right, and then his uh, sticky web doesn't really try to uh, hit me, or to where I can't even move. There we go. That's what uh, Web Spider's saying. It's like, I mean, he kind of sounds like uh, Ken, Ken from Fist of the North Star, you know, where he says, ah, da, 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 da. Or the ghosts from... Or the spirits from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure when they're saying, Ora, ora, ora! Okay, we're almost done with this guy. Got him. Really wasn't that... Uh, really wasn't that terrible that we had to go up against. So, yes, Web Spider's uh, defeated, and now we finally get his weapon.
there is a download of this game on the PC that I actually tried uh, a long time ago, and I remember that um, we got Lightning Web, by the way, which is the uh, weapon from uh, Web Spider. He is a lightning-based enemy, by the way. But anyway, what I was saying is that I, I managed to get a hold of a download for this game on the PC. It actually included voiceovers of Mark Gotha and Lucas Gilbertson for X and Zero. Or, you know, since they were the the voice cast for those characters in later installments of the Mega Man X series. And uh, they actually sounded really well done or really well placed in those games with uh, their uh, their voice samples and that kind of stuff. So, but the only downside is that there was no music that was playing in the background for any of those games. So that was kind of a red herring on the, develop. you know, the... Uh, those who put out that PC versions part to where no music, you can't even hear any music in the stages, which really sucked. The only time you heard music is when you completed the stages and then you heard the voice samples of uh, X and Zero from uh, Mark Gotha and Lucas Gilbertson playing on screen. Ah, damn it. And then we got the Spy Bats, which seem to have gotten an upgrade by uh, pillaging bombs all of a sudden. Huh, weird. I got a... I got this thing that seems to be giving me some health restorations every time when I'm passing by uh, certain uh, checkpoints. Now, trying to get the... Um, trying to get the heart tank in this level, it's actually kind of a... Tr it's actually kind of a tricky experience. But, uh, as long as I figure out what it is, then I really shouldn't... It really shouldn't be that much of an issue. But we'll see how it goes. And those flowers will respawn if you, uh, you know, if you leave them alone for, t I mean, if you leave them alone in their destroyed state for too long, so be very careful. But if you avoid them, then you should be able to get by without any scrapes or bruises, which, you know, Reploids can't even get that kind of thing. Ooh. Claws. It's the claw. Making me think of Liar Liar with Jim Carrey. We should be getting close to the next area. If we go this way, then we got ourselves a little mini boss that we got to fight in this uh, laboratory. Yep. And this one's a little bit more technical on how you actually fight against it because what it does is that it's going to attack a certain spot when you're, uh, you know, when it's right underneath you. So you got to be very careful with where you're, uh, where you're at because it will try to destroy the platform that you're on and you have to move out of the way before it actually destroys that platform. Oh, damn it, I missed. Okay, so let's see if we can get... get Get him without, uh... Okay, got him. Oh, that, man, that was splitting hairs right there. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get through that, but uh, we did. Anyway, this will take us to our next part. So, the second section of the Bio Laboratory stage. Notice how I'm trying to be very careful, but some of the robots just uh, appear out of nowhere and they just stop all of a sudden. Not really a big fan of that. <sighs> oh, I better get moving because we got this chumly who's going to give us a hard time. But we managed to get through it, even though we had to take some damage. <sighs> okay. Now, to get this heart tank, you got to be quick. And there we go. Just like that. Oh. Damn it, I wasn't close. I mean, I wasn't quick. I should have been quicker. Anyway, I don't think we I don't think we have any enemies we gotta fight, so we just pretty much gotta dash our way to get where we need to be. Okay, here we go. Man. Such frustration and such hindrance.
And whatever you do, don't get underneath those plants because those spikes will damage you. They won't kill you, but they will do a lot of damage. Yeah, some spikes in the Mega Man X games, they don't really kill Mega Man on the spot, but they will actually do a lot of damage on their parts. And sometimes the little flower buds don't even come up. I mean, don't even come out like normal like that one. Okay. So, we got ourselves some goodies before we have to fight it off against this level's boss. And of course, this level's boss is Split Mushroom. Some of the bosses in this game will have the Repla Forces insignia, while others will actually have an ins insignia that we'll actually be very familiar with. Like for Split Mushroom, we actually saw the insignia of the X-Hunters, or Sigma symbol. So is Sigma really a part of this game too? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Are you X? I'm under orders to terminate you. What? Whose orders? Take a wild guess. So yeah. Not really too subtle, are you? Yeah, Split Mushroom, you sound very annoying. And I think that a lot of the uh, voice clips for the Maverick bosses are still from their Japanese counterparts, so they're not really speaking in English whatsoever. But yeah, this boss is pretty easy. It pretty much has the same health, uh, health bar as your uh, weapon energy uh, health bar. But it is pretty predictable with how this boss plays out. All right, we finally got him. That one was pretty easy, too. All right, so bio laboratory's completed, and we don't need to come back to that stage anytime soon. But what is the weapon that we actually get this time? Soul Body! What does Soul Body do? Soul Body it accumulates energy and generates an illusion. Enemies will sustain damage if struck by the soul energy. Requires higher energy expenditures, however, and will eventually dissipate in time or if it sustains heavy damage. Okay. Really? Now that's very interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty cool ability to use, and that's going to be useful for the next stage that we're going to go into, which is none other than... Cyber Peacock. Now, this is another stage I think I'm going to be having to come back and play through twice because there is a certain uh, Maverick weapon that I can use to get past some of these, uh, these contraptions that will just get in the way somehow. You know, if you're trying to get through to, to the end of the segment with a fast enough time or an S rank. Yeah, these things. Oh, shit, 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 shit. But you gotta be quick, or else you, it's gonna keep telling you hurry up, which that did, but we managed to get through it, okay? I, didn't, I don't know how we managed to get an S rank like that, but we did. And we get ourselves our heart container, or a heart tank, that time. But yeah, there is another weapon that you can use to actually bypass those yellow eyeballs, and they won't be that much problematic much later on, but uh, they will be problematic if you don't get your butt moving in gear, or if you uh, don't get yourself into high gear. But uh, not to worry, you can get through some of these just fine if you just know what, if you even know what you're doing. But there is a weapon that can actually bypass them, but we do not have it in our possession. But we do get our first energy tank in this level, or in this game. Or, uh, not energy tank, but a uh, sub-tank. Okay. Now, as you can tell, I'm being extremely careful when going through this phase, because I don't want to hit the eyeballs, I don't want to, you know, experience any sort of hardships that are going on right now, because I'm about to if I'm not that careful. So, if we just continue, we should be able to get there in due time. Oh, no, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, Oh, damn it! Damn it! Yep, I didn't think I was going to be able to get through that, so 
Looks like I'm getting an A rank and I won't be able to get the Dr. Light capsule. I think Cyber Peacock's weapon is what will actually bypass against those eyeballs. At first I thought it was Soul Body, but Soul Body doesn't even do jack squat against those things to bypass them. So yeah, that would be the uh, second Dr. Light capsule we'd have to go and uh, get. And I think that's the uh, head upgrade, if, if I'm not mistaken. Now we got to deal with these balls. They get they got balls of steel, whatever those things are. Quite an interesting contraption that this uh, level has for uh, what it is actually doing. It's an upside down contraption of sorts. Okay, so. Now we taking care of that. Now it's time for us to go take care of ourselves a boss. And that boss is Cyber Peacock. And we can use Soul Body against this boss because that's the thing it's weak against. <laughs> okay. His potential is limitless? Not possible. Who are you? What? Why are you doing this to me? I was ordered to test your abilities. It's quite simple. What? Prepare yourself. Sometimes if you're quick enough, you should be able to get a, a second, hit, second hit before the soul body runs out. And that's mighty helpful to try and get in a, an extra hit. But uh, sometimes it may not always work. But if you can get it, then oh, kudos, guys. All right, got him. That wasn't that wasn't so hard. So yeah, that was a pretty easy boss. And I think Cyber Peacock's weapon, like I said, is what can bypass those eyeballs. But if not, then. We will come back to this stage another time. But yeah, I can't believe I did not even think to jump over those eyeballs. No, it's not. Uh, aiming laser doesn't even do anything. It's Storm Owl's weapon that's what uh, can actually bypass those things. Now that I think about it. Move the cursor to lock on the enemies. Attacks the enemy with the aiming laser. Okay. All right, so um, this uh, this weapon is actually a bit more technical to use because you have because what it is for the uh, aiming laser, you have to aim the reticle at a certain spot, and with that reticle, you can actually attack enemies uh, from the laser that you have on you. So, like I said, it's very technical, but it is very useful for when we go into the air force stage, which is where Storm Owl is located. And Storm Owl acts like a general of types when he. Um, Shows looks like he's saluting with his arm cannon. And we got uh, what's playing in the background, probably my favorite song in the entire game. Or my favorite tune. And we have to deal with many of these uh, airships that are still giving us trouble, who still attack us, but we got ourselves... We got ourselves... Uh, what, uh, we got ourselves a riot armor that we can uh, wield and ride. And it's going to be very helpful for when we're trying to get uh, one of these things, which is a... Uh, what you just experienced was a uh, heart container or a heart tank. And notice that I'm not taking any damage with the ride armor as I'm pretty much getting through this like a boss. I say that as soon as I died. Great. And I can't even get access to the ride armor anymore. So we have to do everything on foot now, huh? 
was, I'm perfectly content with that. Besides, I really hate having to, uh... Oh, damn it. As I really don't want to, you know, take care of a lot of things while riding that Rye Armor because I could potentially, you know, fall like I just did. Anyway, we get past that one, and we get past this one, and now we should be on the home stretch to actually go to the next area, which we do right now. Okay. So that will take us to the second area of this stage. And this is where we're going to get the arm upgrade for Mega Man X. But getting the arm upgrade is definitely no easy feat when you're in this stage, guys. So I would suggest if you're not that... If you're not that... Uh, if, you're, if you're not that content... Not content, but if you're not that comfortable with trying to see if you can actually get that, then by all means just skip out on getting it. Don't even try to be a hero. But if you can get it, more power to you. But uh, trying to get it, it's really not that simple. Because of the spikes right there. And these and the and the web doesn't even last that long either. So it's like one of those things where you're going to have to be quick, and you got to, you know, time it just right. Oh! Damn it. Like I said, it's not simple. And I really do not want to die in this stage, because I will have to go back if I, you know, end up not doing everything correctly. Oh, good. Good. Man, I was really splitting hairs there. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a common phrase I'm saying, is splitting hairs. I don't know why, but it just sounds awesome to me, I guess. Anyway, you can charge up to four blasts at a time with this arm module. It takes a while to charge, but you can fire a charge shot at any time so you wish with it. This arm module is also changeable. Enter this capsule to change parts. Okay. So that tells you which uh, arm module you can get. Uh, you can get one that can charge up to four times and give you four charge shots. Or you can go into this one and it will give you a plasma shot. With this arm part, you can fire the plasma shot, which is effective against stronger enemies. If the shot hits a, the opponent, the pla plasma is generated, which will cause additional damage to the enemy. Okay, so this arm mode is also changeable, so... Um, we'll just go with the uh, this one for the time being. It's where you can actually charge four charge shots at once. But, or actually, why don't I just show it to you and see what it actually does. You can do four charge shots like that. It's actually very... Uh, helpful to actually uh, use those charge shots against some of the bosses if you have trouble. Like this one. Yeah, like that. Really not that handy when you have a bunch of mavericks that are giving you a hard time, like... Or a bunch of robots that give you a hard time like that. But don't worry, just... Be patient, or just be patient and you'll prevail. Okay, got it. Alright, so we got that. And now we can go visit Cyber Peacock. But we better hurry. Well, we, don't worry, we'll be fine. But it's time for me to show off the uh, aim aiming laser because, like I said, this weapon's a bit more on the technical side, and uh, and you have to use the D-pad to aim the reticle to wherever oncoming enemies are located. How dare you destroy my unit? You'll pay for this with your life. Oh. 
If you do that, then that will actually make it easier for you to actually get the aim on enemies, and the uh, and the laser will actually be very effective when you're uh, right below or right above them. But uh, yeah, be very careful and uh, just remember to aim the reticle precisely wherever you're at. And then you should be able to take them down with no problem. Just like that. So yeah, like I said, it's one of the more technical uh, power-ups that you can get in this game. Or any Mega Man X game in particular because of its uh, particular usage of, and what it does. But if you can manage to pull it off, then by all means, you should be golden. And with that... We got ourselves our next weapon, which is the Double Cyclone. Now, the Double Cyclone, as I recall, that is the weapon that's effective against those eyeballs in Cyber Peacock stage in the Cyberspace Laboratory. Anyway, Double Cyclone fires vacuum cyclones left and right, most effective when surrounded by the enemies and against Skyborne enemies. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, now that we got that, we should be able to go get the head upgrade now. But first things first, since we already defeated four of the robot masters or the Mavericks, we actually do get a mid uh, mid stage segment or a mid game segment. Sir, it's a message from the Colonel. X, I'll wait for you at, at Memorial Hall. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. So yes, we're going to Memorial Hall because we have to greet the Colonel. Ready. So yeah, we're getting ourselves into a boss fight here with the Colonel. Colonel! Stop this foolishness now! Never! Colonel, please! Think this over! The Repla Force must be independent! Our battle will will determine this. Show me what you've got. Okay, as you can see, I'm being very, very, uh, you know, collective with my train of thought right now. Because while that ability I use probably is not the most effective uh, arm cannon upgrade, but it can be effective in some regards. But uh, not in this regard right now to where I'm fighting against, a, you know, a Repliforce uh uh, a high-ranking member of the Repliforce army. And I'm about to get my ass kicked if I'm not careful enough. See? Just like that. So, we're gonna try it again. <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty green when it comes to playing the later games, but uh, I try my best to uh, make sure that everything goes along smoothly, but sometimes things may not even go according to plan. I've been waiting to fight with you. Okay, this is much easier now, since I know why, what I can do. And I say that until I get my ass handed to me. Okay. Yeah, this is by far... M Ugh. I seem to be having a bit of trouble not being able to dash when I'm using this, uh, when I'm using the Joy-Cons. No, that's okay. We almost we almost uh, got the uh, colonel down for the count. Okay. 
How about you try to attack us twice again like you normally do? And we'll attack you twice. Which we already did attack twice. But, uh, yeah. His health is getting much lower, so we just need two more charge shots to actually do the trick. Or one more, at least. <laughs> Okay, finally got him. Impressive. But the result won't be the same next time. Until then. Colonel! Man. Quite a uh, boss fight, but uh, that was pretty simple. And I say that with uh, strong content, as I did lose a life against him. But uh, enough of that. Anyway, we're going to make a trip back to cyberspace, because since we have uh, Storm Al's ability, we should be able to use it to get past those eyeballs without any problems. And I'll show you, right here. Uh, no, I thought was, that was the weapon that we had to use. Uh, don't worry, I should be able to get uh, through that just fine. It doesn't really matter if I, uh, you know, don't get all the way to the end and get an S rank uh, for stuff like this. Because I just only want to focus on the third part of that first uh, section. So, yeah. Okay, good. Alright, so that's the uh, second part. And now it's time for us to go into the third part. Make sure that we don't screw anything up this time. I know there's something that you can use to bypass those things, but... That's okay. We just need to uh, make a uh, quick run for the end and uh, not cause any delays in the process. Oh, shit, 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 get, 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 get off me. Okay. Keep going. Did I? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Okay. Screw this. I know there's something you can use to actually get rid of them. Was it? Was it? Wait a minute. Was it actually Soul Body? I guess it was. I miscalculated. So, yeah, I'm going to go through that stage again. But I'm just going to go through the normal tra uh, traditional route of getting a game over. But uh, we'll continue and we'll try this again. But I'm not going to waste too many soul bodies going into this stage. As I say that with uh, sheer confidence. <laughs> but make sure I use that when I'm going through the other, uh, the other sections when I'm trying to get through this part. Or getting through the third part. Now, double R, you don't want to waste too much, because you still need to uh, have enough to actually take care of that one section before get getting to Dr. Light's capsule. Okay. Alright, so... It's just a matter of getting there without uh, getting hit by those things in the process. Okay, and I bypassed that, so that's all good. Oh, no, no, damn it, I did it again! Come on, get there, get there. Do not screw up. Got it, alright, so we finally got there, and now it's time for us to get our prize.
and that prize is a Dr. Light capsule, and that will give us the head upgrade. So I'm giving you a new head module X. This module will improve your special weapon's abilities. It should reduce your special weapon energy requirements to near zero. You may now use your special weapons as often as you want, so we can pretty much use the special weapons without uh, them depleting that much weapon energy. Or sometimes we could just use them an infinite amount of times, but yeah. This is also a pretty useful weapon too if you need to use your weapon energy to their max potential. Yeah, just like that. But anyways, since we're done with this stage, it's now time for us to make our grand escape and go to the next location. And our next location is going to be the volcano area. And that's where Magma Dragoon, Dragoon is. The, uh... Reploid who betrayed the uh, Maverick Hunter HQ. Now, in order to get one of the medals, from what I experienced yesterday, right before we logged off, is that you have to do something very interesting with the... Um, oh, man. Intensity in this stage to the max with those uh, fireballs. But uh, what you have to do is that you have to, uh, you have to uh, make sure that when you get the right armor that the last hit that you land on Magma Dragoon is with the right armor itself and not with uh, any other weapons because if you can hit the last hit with the uh, right armor then you should be golden to actually get the achievement. Ooh. I think this is the stage where you get the body armor? Is it where you get the body armor? I think so. But I think it's in the next section. Is where we get the body armor at. Because, or is it another one of the stages? I can't remember. But it's in a one of the stages where you can... I, I think it is actually this stage, now that I think about it. But, and I think it's up here. And well, there's the uh, heart up, the heart tank that we need. So we'll just grab that. Sometimes I just really like to spam those, uh, the, those, uh, charge shots out of that, uh, arm upgrade module. And I think in order to get that upgrade... Uh... How do you get that upgrade? Do you need to be... Or is it in another stage that I'm thinking? Oh, what stage is it that you have to be in? I know you have to be... Is it in this stage? I guess it is, but yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get it from that point. So, and you can only get the ride armor when you're up there or when you're, oh, oh hell, I can't remember. I think this is another one of those stages where you're going to have to come back and actually get it because we don't have the proper weapon to use. Notice that the ride armor is a lot more powerful than the ones from the previous games. Especially when you do that jump strike. It's so OP'd. Okay. Now, when you're uh, fighting against Magma Dragoon, like I said, use your Maverick weapon first before you actually uh, take him down with the ride armor. X, you've arrived. Dragoon! Why did you betray the HQ? <laughs> You'll have to defeat me first. But we're allies. You're so naive. Listen closely. I let the Sky Lagoon fall. And I do it again. Ha 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 ha. No, those were innocent people. You're not Dra you're not Dragoon, just a Maverick. You got that right. Power up, X. It's time to it's time you showed me what you can do. 
So, yeah, we're fighting a fake Street Fighter character. And he does actually sound a lot like uh, Ryu from... What the hell? Thank you. Get it. I didn't want to ride that ride armor thing. You? Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, we should be able to get him without having to use much of our weapon energy, and we can defeat him with the right armor like normal. Okay, so let's get back in the right armor. Got him! Oh, good. The last hit had to be with the right armor. I think... That just looks funny that he's riding the right armor like that. Yep. So, uh, you brought Fist to a mech fight. So, yeah, the last hit had to be with the mech armor, or the right armor, to defeat Dragoon. You are strong, X. Such a waste. Why, Dragoon? Always wanted to fight you. Then, he appeared, and... He appeared? Who? told me to work for Repl Force to goad you into fighting. You did it just so you could fight me? Was worth it for a final duel. Dragoon! So yeah, Dragoon now has bit the dust because, well, he finally achieved his lifelong dream. Rising Fire is what we got. And it shoots a, f a fire vertically and effective against all airborne enemies. Some objects may be burned by this attack as well. Okay. And that's something we're going to have to be using when we're in... Uh, what's the name of that stage? We're going to be having to use that in Web Spider stage. So we're going to head back to the jungle and then we're going to actually get that ability. So let's go get it. I forgot that the, uh... I, I keep forgetting about how the, uh... You know, the, uh, ride armor... I mean, not the ride armor, but the, uh, that, uh, arm upgrade that I have... How, uh, how it doesn't always fire off when you want it to. It does, it does tend to ruin the heat of the moment sometimes. You know, it's probably like one of those things. Maybe I should go back and get the other... Uh, you know, the other shot, because that, uh, that ability, I mean, the, uh, having the plasma shot available, it actually is a much better arm cannon to use, but, oh well. I mean, we don't even have to use that at all times, we could just spam like normal if we wanted to. Okay, here we go. And, uh, the, one of the cool things about this game is that when you're, uh, you know, getting, uh, it, health energy refills is that, I mean, for your character, uh, by themselves, they will also use a little bit of it, of uh, what you use to actually fill up your sub tanks as well, so you don't even have to be at full health to get the uh, sub-tanks to actually fill by themselves when you pick up uh, life energy capsules. So, just a little FYI when you're trying to fill up on the uh, life energy capsules. Now, this game also has a weapon energy capsule uh, 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 that you can get, that you can actually refill your weapon, weapon energy on 
in case if you're in a tight pinch where you need to fill up that kind of stuff. So this is the first game to actually introduce that feature, having not only uh, a life energy caps, I mean, uh, life, or a life energy sub tank, but also a weapon energy sub tank. It actually makes it even more worth it when you're, you know, in case if you're in a really tight pinch and you need to get some life energy to fill back up on. Anyways, I'm losing my train of thought here when going through more of this action game, but uh, that's the kind of thing when you're playing a side scroller like this, you're just so much into the action that it's really hard to keep your train of thought on some things. Anyway, use the, uh, the fire ability. And that will actually burn off the wood there. So that creates a little shortcut. And it's actually very, very good for when you're needing to use this. To get here, because that will give us our heart tank. Or, yeah, our heart tank. Anyway. I, I wanted to escape. Alright, so. Now we got the heart tank out of that level. And we got five of them so far. just And as well as uh, five of uh, the special weapons that we already got in our possession. But we still don't have what we need to actually bypass that huge contraption. I'm trying to remember if there was a certain weapon that we need to use in order for us to get that. And I am not really sure yet, but let's go to the snow base for the time being. Okay, so Frost Walrus, he protects the secret weapons which lies inside the snow. Okay. Uh, hey, look, we have a cameo. There's Blizzard Buffalo right there. And you can actually see his frozen remains in this stage. Now, this is a good spot up here to actually farm for some health and weapon energy. And you can also get some extra lives up here, too. But like I said, it's a very good farming spot for that type of thing. Okay, so... Now, there is actually something that's very special when we get to the end wall all the way over here. And we're going to have to get in some impeccable timing to actually get to where we need to be. Because, well, if we get to the wall... That's all the way at the end here. We are actually gre uh, we are actually greeted by a new feature in this game. And that is this. The EX tank. What the e what the EX tank does, it will actually give you two extra lives. Uh, every time when you uh, get a game over, it will actually start you off with five extra lives instead of three extra lives. Okay. So we're going to go down here. I think, uh, yeah, it's safe. And we haven't seen Chill Penguins, uh... We haven't even seen Chill Penguins' remains inside this place yet. And that's another Maverick boss that shows his ugly remains inside of the stage. And he should be showing his ugly self once we get near the end of it. Yep, there's Chill Penguin right there, inside, uh, encapsulated inside that chunk of ice. Okay, he's gonna do his, uh, his pound again. Go ahead and... Oh, I was so close. Okay, now we finally got him. And now it's time for us to go to the next part. Snow base, area two. 
Now, if you have the, uh, if you have the fire wheel, this is actually very useful when you're inside this part of the stage because it will actually destroy the chunks of ice. And it's actually very, even more useful when you need to actually get a heart tank in this, uh, area. As well as a, uh... Not only a heart tank... Uh, wait a minute, did I just... Actually, I think I missed the heart tank. Now that I think about it. But you do actually get a weapon tank inside this, uh, stage. And I'll show you where the weapon tank is when we get closer. Actually, yeah, I missed out on it. So the, uh... The uh, heart tank is actually in the first area, not this one. And uh, you can see the W right there. Yep. Well, that's the weapon tank. So we finally got our hands on the weapon tank. And uh, let's just complete the rest of the stage. The thing is, uh, if you let that bird freeze the stage, I think you will actually get damage from this portion. But uh, it doesn't really hinder anything, like any sort of progress or anything, you know, if you let that happen or occur. So if it does happen, so it's like, what's the point of complaining that you didn't actually get something accomplished? And I think you only have to deal with this like three times before you reach to the end of the stage. If memory serves me correctly, or is there one more? There might be one more. Oh, there is one more. Yep. So it freezes everything, like I said, and it's just makes everything slippery and just makes this place a hell of a lot harder to actually kind of control your footing. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go fight the boss, and that is going to be Frost Walrus. I notice I'm really not talking that much tonight. I really don't know what it, there is to say. I mean, it's just, like I said, it's been a very long day for me today, and it's just... Uh, had a lot going on on my plate. They sent a kid like you after me? I promise to end this quickly. Oh, so it acts like an old man, huh? You can actually get some spammed hits when you do that. So, take advantage of that if he, you know, if he does show up. And even this, too. Got him, you know? Like I said, he was a very simple boss right there. But we're going to go back into a stage because I do need to get the heart tank that I missed out on. And I know exactly where it is. But we did get the EX tank as well as the weapon tank in the same stage. So, awesome. You got Frost Tower. Frost Tower! Okay, it says generates, generates a huge ice block that acts as a shield. May also be used to trap enemies before dissipating. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go back into that one place and actually get what we needed to come for. So let's go back over here and we're going to get the heart piece. Or the heart tank, rather. There's always something to deal with hearts. I guess you could say this... I guess you could say the Mega Man X games have a lot of heart. But nah. Anyways... Enough of that. Anyway, if you use the uh, fire wheel on this, you get the uh, heart piece. Now, let's get out of here. Alright. Oh, man. I'm still wondering what that weapon is that we need to get to uh, get Dr. Light's capsule. It's got to be something that we can charge. But we'll see. Or something that we can use to destroy.
Yeah, the fire's really not damaging. Damage. Well, then again, I fibbed it up. I probably do need the. Uh, oh, I didn't want. I didn't want that ability uh, activated. Then again, I hit the uh, shoulder buttons by accident at times, so it's something that just happens all at random. Anyway, enough of this. <clears throat> Let's get to the next section. <clears throat> so we're going to Volcano Area 2. While dealing with many of these fireballs that are going down and coming up at the same time. Oh, they take three, okay. I will get that, uh, I will get that, uh, body armor upgrade, so that way we get the fourth armor on us, or the force armor, as this game calls it. Okay, let's see. I know there's something that we have to use to bypass this. Nope, it's not it. Not that either. So you had just actually made a, a clone of yourself. Okay, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything either. I wonder if you have to use Jet Stingray's ability. I think you might have to, so... We just pretty much entered that uh, level... Or not. So... Uh, let's continue and go to our next area. In that next area, Jet Stingray. Now, we're probably going to be losing a lot of lives doing this in case if we need to get the, uh, the, uh, life energy sub tank as well as the heart tank in this stage. Because we're going to be riding a hover bike going through this level quite a lot. Oh man, it's like I forgot how to ride the hover bikes. Now trying to get the uh trying to get the heart tank in this level as well as some of the other goodies, it's really not that simple. Yeah, there's the uh there's the heart tank right there. Like I said, you're going to probably be wasting a lot of lives because of just how fast the bike is. Yeah, and these uh, definitely look very familiar to that of the uh, intro stage from Mega Man X2, as well as uh, Overdrive Ostriches stage. Got it. Oh, God. That was... I definitely pull hairs quite a lot when I'm going through... Stages like this because it really gets you in, in such a very intense moment when you're trying to go through those stages. It's just ugh, enough for me to grab my hair and just yank it like nothing. And there's two sections of where we have to do this. That's what makes it even more unbearable. And I'm trying my best to, uh... Ah, oh, damn it! I died again! At that same spot! Ah, oh, man. Going through this multiple times. And always forgetting where exactly you're going to get out, you know, get off of. And try to get through. It's just... It's like... All of a sudden, it's like this game's become like a senior memory for me to know where the jumps are and where I need to land. And just what all needs to be accomplished in order for me to get past this stage without any problems. But it doesn't always work that way, guys. Oh, damn it! I missed! 
Yeah, I miscalculated. So, if you see me do this quite a multiple number of times, then you'll know why. Okay. Okay, so let's just concentrate on this part so we can get through it. Oh, damn it! I missed again! Oh, God, I hate this stage with just how fast those hover bikes go. And you can't even, like, control your the flow of your movements when you're going that fast. Oh, I wanted to jump that. God damn it, game. Okay, but don't worry. We'll get past it. Okay, there we go. Oh! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ugh, game! Hate this! So yeah, I'm gonna have to be very careful when trying to go through this. And I don't want to even lose my cool when when it's this, uh, you know, late right now. Because, well, it is kind of late and we got I got neighbors who are sleeping right now. And I really do not want to disturb their beauty sleep because of, you know, me in a very intense heat of the moment type of situation. Where I'm trying to get through something that's really hard and somewhat unforgiving. Oh, cool, I made it. Okay, cool, yes, yes, I made it. Oh, man. Now let's get through the next part. I think every time you die, you start at the beginning of uh, a certain section. Not always the same section, but... Uh, I mean, not always at the beginning sessions, like, uh, with every game that you... I mean, like, with every playthrough and that kind of stuff, but... Uh... Oh, man. I'm trying to find the jump that I need to take off of in order to actually get the... That was it. Why did I not even think of that? Like, there's certain parts of this uh, section that are just so unpredictable that you don't know what's going to come across you at first sight. So... Just be calm and collective, guys, and just take your time and know where everything's coming before you try to be a hero and become very reckless. Oh, damn it! Oh, God, I will get this. Man, this sucks. Now, since I know where to actually get it, maybe I can focus more now, trying to go through this part. Oh, good. Oh, how could I miss that? I, oh god, I had that on me. Oh my god, I cannot believe that happened. I was over that. But when you're going through something like this, you may want to try to be as far back as possible. So that way you don't uh, end up losing your... Uh, composure where you wherever you are okay so let's try that again this time with style and make sure that we actually get it oh how could I miss that again damn it okay so yeah we do start at the beginning of the section again we don't uh you know we don't start at like the uh 
the door right before the Maverick boss like the later games do, but, uh... But it's good to know that we can actually, uh, continue from the beginning of whatever area that we're already at. It's like you gotta, you know, know to... Okay. Got it! Oh, man. Oh, God, that was close. But we finally got it. So it's time for us to take care of the next boss, and that is Jet Stingray, who is weak against ice. Ugh, man. That was close. So, I'm impressed that you found me. But your search is over, and thank you, LPH, for subscribing to me. So, uh, thumbs up, man. But your search is over. Get ready, X. Okay. Yeah, this boss is weak against ice, so use the ice whenever you get a chance. Because it will save your life quite a lot. Or, if you want to do that, you can always do that, too. And get the hit on him, quite more so than ever before. Okay, got him there. Ah, Jesus. Okay, but he's almost done. Get him. Got him. Ugh. Thank God. Seriously, enough's enough. All right, so we got ourselves the Ground Hunter. I think that might be what we need to use in order to actually destroy those contraptions, so that way we can actually get the uh, the body armor upgrade for the fourth armor. But uh, let's go take a look, shall we? Let's head back to uh, to Magma Dragoon stage and see if we can actually get it this time. And we should be able to. Okay, keep, keep going, double R. Take care of the Mets, and get all the way to the end without trying to get hit. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, just bypass these. You're almost there. But yeah, I think the Ground Hunter, I think that's the one we need to use. Because the Ground Hunter is... Or is it Slash Beast's ability? If it's Slash Beast's ability, then I'll be... I'm gonna be sad. Well, we'll see. Quit hitting me. Definitely reminds me of Ace Ventura when nature calls when, uh, you know, the when he's going up against the alligator. It's like, quit hitting your... It's not that weapon either. Oh, my God. So you do need the... Uh, 
You do need Slash Beast weapon. Okay, fine. So it looks like we're not going to be able to get it with uh, without Slash Beast's primary weapon, huh? The military train, here we come. Ugh. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. But I tell you, when, whenever we get to Mega Man X Five, I'm kind of curious to to see the or to see the changes that they have for the Maverick names. Can't wait to see what that's all about. Get to experience these robots for the first time. They look like jolly old chaps. Don't they probably don't even look that jolly for being uh, forced to work into the you know being forced to do their bidding in this war and that like the Repla forces bidding or that of whatever X hunter bosses you come across. Oh man, that was close. And I can't wait till we play a zero because that's gonna make things a hell of a lot easier when we're, uh, you know, having to destroy some of these things in close quarters combat. And yes, as you would have guessed, X is more for beginners, whereas uh, someone like uh, someone like Zero is more for the hardcore crowd. Okay, so we finally got that. That took us quite a bit of time. I probably should have had the plasma shot, uh, plasma shooter at all this time. And like I said, that uh, arm upgrade where you're charging with four shots at once, it does make it a bit more difficult. And if that's the case, well, you're just stuck with that at all times. Okay. Oh. Get out of here. Pest. Okay, let me see if I can get all the way to the end and getting what I need to actually get that. Okay, yeah, so I think you have to destroy the cargo on some of these trains to actually get the heart upgrade, the heart tank, I mean. Yeah, it's in one of these uh, trains. Yeah, that one. So we finally got the last heart container. Okay, so we're done with the right armor there, and now it's time for us to go on foot a little bit. Am I going on foot? We have to experience some of these goons, and then we get then we hop onto another train. Okay. There we go. Now we need to experience this train in all of its glory and get to where the boss is. And the boss shouldn't really be that too much farther.
and slash beast is actually probably my favorite uh uh probably my favorite uh maverick boss in this game next to magma dragoon in terms of design whereas everybody else they just they really don't they don't really don't scream awesome looking or whatnot Challenging my unit was both foolish and reckless. You are nothing more than my prey. One that is soon to be retired. Sorry, but uh, you're the one who's going to be retiring there, Slash Beast. You're very simple. Uh, yeah, Slash Beast's uh, uh, weapon is what's going to make uh, this fight even more uh, of a cakewalk, or our time with trying to get the Maverick weapon, I mean the body armor, more of a cakewalk in Magma Dragoon stage. And then we can finally complete the fourth armor in all of its glory. But yes, we have all eight of the heart pieces in this game, and now it's time for us to go pick up our booby prize in Magma Dragoon stage. Finally! After vainly going into that stage numerous times. Twin Slasher. Okay, shoots twin slashers for uh two, shoots twin slashers forward in two directions. This weapon has wide range capabilities, making it easier to hit enemies. Okay. Alright, so we got all that. Now we just need to go get the last uh armor upgrade. The Repla Force has begun assembling. Where are they? The spaceport. They plan to take off into space. Hurry, we have to stop the Colonel. We'll go to spaceport eventually, but first things first, volcano again. We need to get that. We need to get that body armor before anything. And we might take that opportunity to actually fill up on some things while we are in that same stage, too. Oh, whoa, God, that was close. Uh, but first, uh, that, but we want, but the fill ups I was actually talking about is actually in Frost Walrus's stage, if anything. Bypass it. We're almost there. Okay. Now we can bypass uh, this again. It's like all this random crap that just all of a sudden appears in your direction and it just becomes so irritating. Okay, now... Now, I think we have to use this to destroy the rocks. Yes. I was right. Now we finally get the body armor upgrade. Equip with this new body module X. This body part absorbs damage inflicted by enemies and will gradually accumulate within. When it is filled to... To capacity with energy, you can execute the Invincible Nova Strike. However, a single use will consume all your energy stores. So, use it only to pu pull through tight situations. Thank you, Dr. Light. And now we have the fourth armor complete. Yep, we got the fourth armor. And now we can finally get out of here. And I'm going to go into... Uh, Bross Waller to this stage and actually get those extra lives we need. Okay, so Frost Walrus. Get the extra lives, and the thing is is that if you get the extra lives, if you get full uh fully charged up on not only extra lives, but as well as the uh subtanks of both the energy subtanks and the weapon subtank, then that will uh help you quite immensely with uh 
with getting one of the achievements, as we just saw from what we experienced yesterday before we logged off the air. But anyway, that's enough of that, and uh, we're going to escape the stage and come right back. And no, we don't want to go to the spaceport yet. We still need to get extra lives. Ready. I'm going to get that achievement. You just watch. And then after that, if we don't use up any of our sub-tanks, then we should be able to get through the rest of the game. All right. Okay. Let's get out of here again. Escape. Uh, no, don't save. Quite yet. Go back to uh, Snow Base, and we're going to repeat this process again until we get all the lives. Okay. This makes it all easier if you're playing as Zero, by the way, because he has a double jump ability that you can only get if you actually, uh... If you actually obtain one of the Maverick weapons in one of the stages. Okay, so we have all uh, health energy and weapon energy tanks uh, all to the max. So, we're done with that. But uh, we are going to come back and get that other extra life again. I think we just need two more. Either two more or one more. And then we got the achievement and then we can finally make our way to our final destination. The final countdown. Do 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 do. Okay, so we do need nine. Okay. So let's escape out of here, and we'll come back one last time. And then we should be fully filled up with everything. Okay, so... Char charge back up here. And... Charge along in this direction. Seems like I'm using the word trudge quite a lot. Okay, so fully charged. So we got our Hunter Medal here, where we have all extra lives, all energy and weapon sub-tanks filled, and all of our weapons and equipment, as well as all the armor pieces. So I'd say since we got that achievement, we are all set to take on the final area. So let's go. So the spaceport. Repla Force is going into space, huh? Ouch. I would say those uh, enemies you're going up against, I would say that they are the Repla Force's men that are trying to destroy you, but uh, I could care less what they are. Oh man, that was close. Can we get ourselves a... Uh, can we get ourselves some uh, energy caplets before we go any further? That'd be really swell. Just saying. Okay. Got that. Oh, cool. We did get one, but uh, ooh, man, that was close. Look at this! Man, that is... That is weird. How, you know, that how that is happening like that. But uh, anyway, if we can get through this just fine as, uh, you know, as X with trying to defeat Colonel, then we should be okay. Colonel, step back! I'll stop anyone who tries to interfere with our independence. Enough of this, it's only an illusion. You hunters will never be able to understand us. 
Get ready, X. I've been waiting to fight with you. Yeah, so, uh... Colonel's weakness is actually the, uh... The ice weapon. But it, it is making it difficult for us to actually get the drop on him. So if anything, I'd say just use the uh, charge shots at this point. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do that. He's really quick. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, you. Oh, you did not just do that. Wow. He actually did just do that. I can't believe it. He he did a fake out just to trip us up. Oh god. I've been waiting to fight with you. So I guess when you deplete half his health, he'll actually do his uh, special attack? Nope. I can't believe he did that fake out just to trip me up. There, he did it again. He almost got me. Now he's doing a uh, new ability, which we haven't seen before. Got him. Impressive. But it's too late. What? The Repliforce already left for space. I'm beaten. But the Repliforce will never perish. The Reploids Nation will be born in the vastness of space. Colonel! Oh, he, you say that, but uh, it's all just a dream, Colonel. It's all just a dream. You're delusional. But anyway, that takes care of that, and now it's time to go to the next stage. Repla Force has flown off into space. Double, watch the ship for me. I'll go after them. Sir, reconsider what you're doing. It's far too dangerous. We don't have any other option. I'm leaving you he in charge here, Double. So, go to the final weapon. Another FMV.
not be allowed in here. Terminate them. Roger. What a freeze. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dumble, what's the matter? Oh, boy. Oh my god. So that's Double's true form. A psychopath. A slasher villain, too, if you think about it. Oh my god, look at all that blood splattering! will be my next target. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we finally know Double's true colors. That son of a bitch. And I will say, Double is very cheap when you're fighting him as X. Really unforgiving. Much as unforgiving as many of these enemies who like to continue to hit me with their own weapons. And if I remember correctly, I think the wind weapon is actually weak against double. There he is. The traitor. Double! What? Why are you here? <laughs> the Mavericks. Hunters and Repliforce. Idiots. All of them. They're making my job too easy. What are you talking about? Double, what are you saying? Think it over in heaven. Die, X. <laughs> You're gonna get hurt, X. Okay, so... Yep. He's weak against that, but like I said... <laughs> Double is very cheap. Rightfully so, with those uh, weapons that he's using, and using that charge ability when he's trying to attack us head on and it's gonna make you use up an energy tank like it did for me. Got him. Double! Damn! How could I lose to a weakling like you? Double, tell me. Why did you do this? <laughs> You're so naive, X. I was sent as a spy from the very beginning to keep an eye on you. Double, I... I trusted you! <laughs> that naiveness may be your fatal flaw. Goodbye, X. See you in the afterlife. Double! So yes, Double was a spy all this time. Well, shit. And what else for me to say, oh shit, is, well, I used a, uh... Oh, uh, <laughs> I used a... I used a energy sub-tank. That's most certainly not gonna make my job easier with trying to reserve the sub-tanks, at least when, for when we get to the final area, because getting to the final boss is not that simple, in some instances. And uh, we want to be very careful on this part, because of those spiked walls. Like I said, these enemies just spam you like nothing. 
Okay, get out of there. Oh, God. Seriously, enough's enough. Now we can go take care of the main baddie. And I can't remember what uh, Colonel's wep uh the weakness towards, uh, not Colonel, but uh, General is. Is it's, it's gotta be something. Not the wind, is it the ground slasher? General, what are you planning to do? We're going to build a nation for the Reploids. That's our ultimate goal. We'll fight anyone who tries to interfere with our independence. There must be alternatives to this mindless fighting. We were called Mavericks without justifiable reason. What other choice did we have than to fight? But... It's too late now. Get ready, X. I guess that is technically his, uh, the weapon that he's weak against because you can see the sparks coming onto his body when he's taking damage. Like that, so yeah. I think I made the right call. And notice how he's coming after us many times like that, just dashing between various parts of the stage over and over and over again. Okay, so it looks like he's going to continue to attack us like is. And he's going to use his fist to actually try and punch us, huh? Well, it's not going to work on us. When we'll just defeat him for good with this. Ah, uh, we'll get you. Yes, you wait. You're not strong and almighty like you think you are. Well, we got you. All right. So, looks like I did make the right call with using that weapon. Looks like that was our perfect choice. All right, so... General has been hurt pretty badly. What? What happened? It can't be. This weapon must be malfunctioning. General, what do you mean? Someone else is controlling it. You must hurry, X. The Earth is... in danger. All right. I'll stop the weapon myself. All right. So, we got that taken care of. And now it's time for us to go fight in the final battle. So, yes. We are going to final weapon area number four. So, yeah. We're in the final stage of the game, guys. Now it's just a matter of going through this fight uh, as efficiently as possible. But we'll see how that all goes. But with anything, if history has told us anything, then we have to go through each of the Maverick stages. Or each of the boss fights against the Mavericks in order to progress any further. Okay, so our first uh, guy is a uh, Web Spider. And I think the ground, or uh, the uh, ground slasher is the weapon of choice we actually want to use against this guy. So, uh, no, no, the twin slasher. Because that will actually cut the rope off, or cut the threads off his, uh, weapon. Or, the, uh, yeah, because that will make him fall down, like so. And that does a lot of damage, like I said. Ugh. But trying to aim for it, or trying to get a good aim on it, is not always easy. As you can just plainly see, I'm trying my best to hit the, uh... To try and hit, uh... Hit the guy, just to get him off his, uh, web, but it's not working. See? So, 
We'll just have to take him on the normal fashion way and uh, not get hurt in the process. But that's not working. Oh, you missed us. Oh, God. Enough of you. Dodging my shots. Bully. Okay. So that takes care of the rematch with Web Spider. And I think next up is... Cyber Peacock. If memory serves me correctly. If we go through this, that is. Yes. I noticed by that formation, that's what it's going to be. Yep. There it is. Or there he is. Yeah, guy's a cakewalk. Most of the Mavericks in this in this game are pretty much a cakewalk. Because, well, it's like there's no challenge to them after you hit them with their, uh, with the Maverick weapon that they're weak against. It's, and I should make mention of that this game was the first Mega Man X game, or that was the uh, game, it was the first one to start off where Tokuro Fujiwara would not have any involvement in future installments whatsoever. And to me, I really can't see where the quality of those games would be really, really, really bad uh, without his involvement whatsoever. Because they were, you know, because most of the games that he worked on uh, for Capcom were actually pretty good. Uh, we want the Frost Tower. What the hell? I thought I got you, jerk. Ah, oh, man. So much unpredictable nature in this boss fight. Okay. Okay. Got you in that ice form again. Huh. <laughs> you know, I didn't really even think of to try that ability before. makes the boss fight a hell of a lot easier when you think about it. Gotcha. Alright. That takes care of Jet Stingray. And then, now we're on to the next one. And I think the next one is Split Mushroom? I mean, if the formation of the uh, bosses uh, are exactly the same like what they appear in the, uh, the stage select screen... Yes, so I was right. Yep. So yeah, when going through these again, just pretty much use the Maverick weapons to get the best of them, and then you should be able to take them down without any problems. So yeah, it's just... I would say 
that this game is pretty much the start of Mega Man X just falling deeper and deeper into just depravity with how the games have started to dip in quality quite significantly as they really haven't been doing as they really haven't done much to improve the formula after Mega Man X3 because as I said Mega Man X3 I felt was at the peak of its uh at the peak of the series with the uh innovation and the uh, different mechanics that all that they implemented into the whole game because well you really don't see that with games after Mega Man X3 so Mega Man X4 was the start of that downward spiral into just you know Anyways, let's just go down the list here and uh, take on the next one. And that next one, I think, is... Is it uh, Magma Dragoon? Yes, it is. So we need the uh, Double Cyclone. And I think we're going to use that Double Cyclone on him right at the start. But it really doesn't even do that much damage like I hoped it would. But even the double Cyclone itself will actually do damage onto him, so it's not going to really make any difference with what you use to actually get the bet, you know, get the best of him. I mean, the music in this game's good, the graphics are great, yeah, but it's just the gameplay itself. It just it didn't feel like a true evolution from Mega Man X three, if anything. It just felt like they completely went back to just making more games more safer than the third game in the series. Which, as I said, the third game felt like it was a true step up in the ser in the franchise's evolution. Whereas, as I said, with this game, it just feels like a bare-bones experience. Okay, so we will need to use this because we are going to go up against Storm Owl next. Yep. Rightfully so. Yes, you stomp that floor hard, Storm Owl. You stomp it hard like a boss. You're trying to do a Repla Force salute, but uh, you uh, forget that you're actually in a really uh, dangerous boss fight. And you are the boss of this stage. And we defeated you for good. So you're back in the scrapyard. I guess I should say, hoo hoot, <laughs> or whatever. Okay. All right. Next up, uh, it is Frost Walrus, and with Frost Wal Walrus, he's going to be a cakewalk too. I just need to get the fire wheel out. Or the flame shot. Whatever it's called. Or flame strike. I could personally care less what it's called at this point in time. Just the flame weapon. Oh, get some hits in. Spam that fire shot. Got him. Yep, that was quick. Ugh, good. And then we have one more, and that's Slash Beast, and then we should make our way to where the true perpetrator is. And we want the uh, Ground Hunter for this. Because with Slash Beast, as uh, you saw from the boss fight we had with him in his stage, it, the Slash Hunter ability is the one weapon he's weak against. Or the Ground Hunter, I mean. He sounds pretty heavy with trying to strike the walls like that. Okay. Yep. Just wash, rinse, and repeat. There's really no, uh... There's really no, uh... 
artificial intelligence for these bosses where they actually be that extremely menacing when you fight against them. So yeah, this boss was another cakewalk all along. Okay. So he's down. And it's time for us to make our way out of here, but first things first. Grab that. And let's go forward. Time for us to see about that boss this time. Whoever he could be. This is amusing. It really is, Zax. You're... Sigma! <laughs> My plan to keep Repliforce and the Maverick Hunters at each other's throats worked perfectly. Double did a good job as a spy. Why, you... <laughs> Repliforce are the fools in this time. Now all that's left is to destroy Earth with the very weapon they made. No, I'll never let you do that. Try hard, X. Your life depends on it. Oh, yeah, it does. But we will stop you. Still, that... Oh, wait a minute. I think we did get that filled up all the way, so I think we're good now. It's time for us to take care of Sigma once and for all. Oh, God, what a menacing uh, core that is for the final weapon. Tremble with terror, you are finished. Tremble with terror, you are finished. He's actually very weak against the, uh, the, uh, flame weapon that you have. But you will need to, uh, dodge underneath him in case if you need to actually, uh, dodge a scythe or, like, yeah, do that. That'll actually work. And if you do that, then you should be okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, so get the, uh, get the, the, the lightning a web. So, because he is very weak against lightning web this, uh, in this form. But not for long. You won't be able to evade this attack. What weapon are you talking about, Sigma? Damn it. Yeah, he's not pulling any punches. So, we're going to have to be even more careful when going up against him. Okay, got him. And we should get one more uh, health, ex uh, not health upgrade, but just rather uh, a health capsule right before we fight off against his final form. Yeah, but it's kind of far away from us. And I think his first form, where he's that huge robot, he's actually weak against the uh, the uh, aiming laser. Feel my incredible power. Drown in the empty vast of uh, empty vastness of space. Are you ready for your final journey? Or is he weak against a uh, soul body? Well, he's weak against something. We don't know what it is, but we'll get to the bottom of it. But we do know that Ground Hunter is the one thing that he's weak against in this form. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Yeah, uh, Ground Hunter is what he's weak at, against in this form. Okay, so is it Soul Body for you when it comes to this? Could be. Y yep, it is Soul Body. Who would have thought? Uh, 
Okay. So, yeah, we pretty much got the pattern down with how we need to defeat this guy. Okay, now we need to get uh, Ground Slasher back. Okay. Ah, oh, the debris. He's actually not that bad to destroy. No. Actually, that might be... For us to use in that uh, in that regard. Okay, get soul body back because we do need to use it against this form, again. Well, not that time, but we will use it against this. Ah, Jesus! Got to be very careful. Oh, Jesus, already? God. Piss off. I'm gonna defeat this guy. Ugh. I'm already almost out of health. This is bullcrap. Oh, come on! Okay, we almost got him. So, yeah, we're being very, very careful doing this from now on. Okay, very good. We're almost there. Oh god, that was my fault. But it's okay, we still have plenty of health to s do him in. Okay. Okay, we got that for him. Now it's time to take down the last one. So yeah, we almost got this battle in the bag, guys. We're almost done. Okay, now let's try it again. Please, stay there. Oh, damn it! Okay. No more of the DNs, please. That's really annoying. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. And you can tell I'm being very concentrating right now because, well... I don't want to take the risk of, you know, dying in the process. And there you go. Smile, you son of a... I would finish that line from uh, Jaws, but I'm not really going to because a lot of people already know what that line is. But anyway. Hee hee hee. What's so funny? This weapon is aimed straight at Earth. Already. No one can stop it now. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Goodbye, X. So, yes, Sigma has been defeated a fourth time. And by X again. But how would it be if we actually got to see Zero get the victory? Well, we'll have to tune in for that next time, but let's finish up this game in its entirety, shall we? For this playthrough. General! The weapon can be stopped with my body. But then you'll... Many of my men have died. As their leader, I must leave with them. X, 
Please forgive our foolishness. General! So, General sacrifices himself to destroy the final weapon. And now we finally make our way out of here and head back to planet Earth. Zero. What, what if I become one of the Mavericks? Don't ask that silly question. I'm breaking contact now. Wait, Zero. I'm, I'm serious. Zero. If, if I become a Maverick, you have to take care of me. Don't be ridiculous. Now hurry on back. Promise me, Zero. So yeah, if you played Mega Man 8, then that's the same voice actress who voices X in this game too. So I kind of like to think that the original Mega Man and Mega Man X are one and the same being. Like Mega Man X is the evolution of the original Mega Man, but just in, an, in a new upgraded form. But anyway. And there's that sorry guy's name who ended up being a producer for this game. But yes, that is Mega Man X4 in a nutshell. So, as I said, it's got some good merits. The graphics, the music, uh, the story is alright. But the gameplay, even though they went for went back to that safe approach with what they did for Mega Man X2 and trying to follow the original Mega Man X, Mega Man X4, it just really should have built off more from Mega Man X3 because like I said, Mega Man X3 was the peak of the series for me and I know 16-Bit Jeff was in the same boat as me too when it came to, you know, talking about what games were at the peak of their time and uh, which one actually, which ones actually stuck out more throughout the whole uh, experience. But as I said, this game was pretty much for me, I mean, for me, it pretty much started the trend of Mega Man X games just falling down from their quality and it's just they were getting worse and worse every single year but they still had some good elements uh for not only this game but for the next one too but Mega Man X6 even though it still gets a bad rep for being the worst of the 2D iterations because of how it was created they it still had a few good things here and there but Mega Man X7 oh boy don't even get me started talking about that game. And as well as uh, Mega Man 8, uh, Mega Man X8, even though it tried to re uh, rectify everything and try to go back to the original days of how the series was, it still just didn't really grasp on to how the game presented itself to everybody. I mean, if anything, Mega Man X8, it had a lot of potential to try to bring the series back in full circle with how it presented itself and how great it was but in the at the end of the day it just didn't really accomplish that but either way yeah that's uh Mega Man X4 in a nutshell uh you know i haven't really shown off the uh you know what the um i haven't really talked about how to get the uh X uh, X armor. I mean the uh, the ultimate armor. And uh, thanks a lot there, 16-bit Jeff. It's good to hear you in the chat too, man. So yeah, uh, yeah. And I got a new follower, but uh, I'll have to tell you who that follower is once I uh, get done with this uh, live stream. But anyway, we finally get our hunter medal for X completing the game as X, and now we're gonna see this little epilogue statement. The battle has ended, yet somehow, X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those robots to turn into Mavericks? Will it happen to me someday? 
As X just realized his tragic destiny, it appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day. Soon. So, yeah, we got ourselves a, uh, another achievement. It's called Half the Saga. And True Hero, because we completed all four Mega Man X games in this collection. So, we got ourselves a crap ton of medals there. But anyways, uh, if anything, uh, I guess I will show you how to get that, uh, to get that armor. So, let me, uh, look it up real quick to see how you can actually get that armor. And we'll actually, uh... Uh, I'll show you how, uh, or what, it, what, what its proper use is for. Anyway, um, Mega Man X4, and, uh, go to the cheat. Okay, so, anyway, so what you have to do is you have to press circle twice, left six times, and then hold the, I mean, you have to, uh, press A twice, uh, left six times, and then hold the, the, um, what is it? The left trigger or the left shoulder button? Left shoulder button, and then the uh, ZR button, and until the game starts. And it's at, or so. Uh, yeah, when the game starts, then uh, that's when you want to make sure that you actually get the uh, correct armor. So anyway, let's uh, let me go ahead and try it out for you. So twice. And then this. See if this works. Hopefully I got it right. But if I didn't, then... Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Nope, I didn't get it right. The uh, Anyway, restart it. Restart it, and I will try it again. Okay, so, left six times, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And let me see if this works, because you will get a darker, uh, darker hue for X's body armor. And if that's the case, then we should get the... Nope, that still didn't work. So, restart it. Damn it, what am I not doing right? Okay, so let me go to the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Maybe that'll actually tell me. Okay. Okay, so, um, let's see, uh, let's see, um, cheat codes for playing as, okay, so you have to push B twice, and then left six times, and then hold L and then ZR, okay. So that's what I was, uh, uh, getting wrong with. So, okay, so, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then... Do this. See if that works. Hopefully that works. Because if it doesn't, then we just goofed up again. Okay, let's see if it worked that time. Yeah, now we got the darker purple hue. So if we uh, go to, um, what's his name? If we go to, uh, Web Spider Stage, we should be able to actually get, uh, and the ultimate armor. But first I want Eregion to quit giving us so much of a hard time. So, get out of here. Quit bothering me. So, I will show you that, and I will skip all the cutscenes. So that way I show you what the armor looks like, and what its most awesome feature is. But like I said, we won't be going through 
the entirety of this game again since we already def uh, you know already completed it. Okay, so let me um, continue here. Okay, so we got that, and now it's time for us to get out of this, uh, you know, it's speech hoopla. But I really do like how X looks with that darker shade of purple for, like, his interior design and whatnot. Like his insides. Like... It's like he's a darker variation of himself. Because he's normally like, uh, you know, blue and either light blue or aqua colored with his insides or his interiors. Uh, and like his internal structure, I meant. But now he's all purple. Makes you think he's X who just went over to the dark side. What? This is not even Star Wars. Who am I kidding? Okay, so now it's time for us to get our prizes down here, and then we are going to go fight Eregion again. Okay, here we go. Now it's time for us to uh, get our fight on with this guy again. And... Put the smack down on him. It's like he's gained much stronger armor when we, uh, right after we took him down in the Sky Lagoon. Alright, got him. And he has been destroyed from up above. He's not standing on the ground getting destroyed. He's above ground getting destroyed. Okay, so go ahead and get out of this uh, spot, and then... Then we'll go back to uh, Web Spider stage. So we'll continue without saving, and then I'll show you what the... Uh, what the uh, thing that we get is. Uh, when we come to the Dr. Light capsule, which the Dr. Light capsule is not that far off from the beginning in Web Spider stage. But who knows, maybe if I start to play this game again, then I'll play it with the uh, ultimate armor. But I'll just give you guys a sneak peek at it, so that way you'll know what its exact functions are. And I may just end up, like, you know, doing a speed run of Mega Man X for uh, X's... Uh, story if I wanted to with the ultimate armor. Like an ultimate armor X mode or something. And I have to say that the that the ultimate armor, I will say, is probably one of the most awesome Easter eggs that you can get in the Mega Man uh, Mega Man X subseries because of just the amount of potential that it has to be a really effective and strong weapon uh, against all the Mavericks you go up against. And they really haven't brought back the Ultimate Armor in any other game ever since, but if anything, you could probably say that, uh... You could probably say that, uh, uh... Mega Man X Command Mission was the last time you get the Ultimate Armor, even though it's in a different rendition. But, for a side-scrolling game, I think the X games on the PlayStation were the only games that actually had that feature. But, uh, anyways, X, you finally arrived. This capsule contains the sealed secret parts for the ultimate armor. When you execute the Nova Strike, the wings will open and you will execute the invincibility, invincible body crash attack. However, this armor is not completed yet and your safety is not assured. If this is acceptable to you, enter now. I'm sure it's acceptable, but uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the ultimate armor. And I'll show you its main function. So... If you push the uh, the ZR button, you'll actually do the uh, Nova Strike uh, numerous times. And uh, 
when you charge up, you get the plasma shot by default. So um, that's why I ended up showing the uh, the arm upgrade with the four charge shots at once because uh, that because I just wanted to show you what its primary function is all about. Whereas if you have the ultimate armor, by default, the uh, plasma shot is going to be your default uh, weapon that you're going to be using in this uh, particular fashion. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. And uh, with that, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get out of this game and see if there's any goodies that's been unlocked for us since we completed all the Mega Man X games on the English side of things. And I don't think so, but let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, the options, the hunter medals, and see uh, how many we have. And it says we have attained 50% of hunter medals, and a new wallpaper has been unlocked. So, hmm, okay. So a true hero, complete Mega Man X4 as X without using the ultimate armor. And then they had the fully charged, and the... And we can use these all the special saber techniques in the game. Okay. Pew pew! Fire fully charged shots using all of... Hmm. Interesting. So, if you use all the... If you use all the abilities... I did not even think about that. In 8 Ova, tell it to Nova. Use Nova Strike to score the final hit against a boss in Mega Man X4. Which we could probably use when we're in... Uh, you know, when we play the Ultimate Armor run-throughs. But uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, since we have over those Hunter Medals unlocked, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go back into this game real quick, and let's take a look at the, uh, uh, wallpaper and see which one we get. We get Special 2. What does that equate to it? Oh, nice! So it actually gives us, uh, a special look at all of the, um... At all the items that you can obtain when you're in the stages in the Super Nintendo game. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So anyway, exit out of that game and let's go ahead and wrap up for tonight because I'm about ready to go to bed. And, uh, you know, happy and content with that we managed to beat uh, X's story in Mega Man X4. So anyway, guys, hope you like what you see or like what you saw from me tonight. Uh, that was pretty much the same length as when I was playing Mega Man X3 yesterday. So Mega Man X4, uh, when we play Zero Story, should be about the same length as what we did when we completed as X. But we'll see how that goes. But uh That'll be tomorrow night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., but it may be a little bit longer because, well, Mega Man X4 is about a two-and-a-half-hour game, if you just saw from what I managed to accomplish. But anyway, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that follow button right above this video player on Twitch, so that way you're notified of whenever I go live with streaming my games uh, on there. And if you like me as a content creator, then you can also follow me on youtube.com slash reviews. I do reviews, retrospectives, the uh, side quest videos, which give my two cents on all news related to JRPGs, Western RPGs, or elements from those games into other games, and as well as me archiving my live streams from here on Twitch onto YouTube. And if you like social media, then be sure to follow me on facebook.com. My Facebook fan page, uh, fan page is facebook.com slash reviews. And my t uh, handle on Twitter is at RPG Review. So whichever social media site that you guys visit, uh, that you guys visit, then be you just rest assured that I will be posting on both social media sites at the same time since they're both connected to each other. Anyway, guys, you all have a good night, and I hope you enjoyed this live stream of what I did. So uh, take care of yourselves, and hello there, Flame Chocobo. Sorry that you missed out at the end of the live stream, but. Uh, I have to go to bed tonight as I did manage to beat the game. But I hope you will join me tomorrow night for when we get started with Zero Story and Mega Man X4. And then we'll, we will be finally done for the time being with Meg the Mega Man X Legacy Collection Volume 1. So anyway, guys, you all have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So until then, this is Double RPG signing off by saying Godspeed and Game On, gamers. Peace out.